Hi! Welcome to this part of my review featuring the Gem Knight RPG. If you haven't seen the other parts of my review featuring this Magical Girl style tabletop role playing game, please check out the playlist in the description below. This time we are going to talk about character creation. Character creation is quite simple, but it has some depth to it. First, you define your wish and your gemstone. Next, you select an archetype from the archetype list. Following that, you select your traits from the traits list and your power traits from the power traits list. You refer to your archetype to see how many of each you are allowed to choose. Then you select a weapon group to be proficient with and a particular weapon you have mastered. Then you select a skill you are well familiar with and you select a belief. We are going to talk about each of these points later on. First, let's talk about Wish and Gemstone. While most role-playing games expect you to create a compelling backstory for your character, the Gem Knight RPG goes on a different route. What matters is what happens from the moment you start playing, not before. Part of this is due to the fact that when you become a Gem Knight, you forget who you were before, as everyone else forgets about you. The obelisk intervenes in reality, making every record about your previous life gone. It doesn't mean that the past is not to be thought about, but you can focus on what triggered you to become a gem knight. What was the event that made you sick deep inside your heart? The words that called upon the obelisk as your utmost wish. You were given a choice. Become a gem knight, fight for good and have your wish granted. Even if you wouldn't be able to recall what you asked for, who you were and who you knew. When the pact is formed, a new destiny unfolds. As your heart becomes one with the power of the gemstone, you are transported to a mystical realm between realities, where the light of your gemstone shines bright. With your new powers, you are then magically transported to where you are needed the most, to face dangers and challenges that will test your mettle as a gem knight. As a gem knight, you must always remember that your destiny is to fight for love and justice, and to never give up, even when the odds seem impossible. Let's talk about gemstones. You have a huge list of gemstones. It is far from exhaustive, but it contains anything needed when it comes to the colors of the gemstones and the associations that can be used to guide your choice of power traits and even personality. Note that as the Gem Knight doesn't remember anything from her past, including her name, it's usual for her to be named after her gemstone. So for example, if a Gem Knight bears the Alexandrite gemstone, that Gem Knight could be called Gem Knight Alexandrite. So you have many gemstones such as the Agate, multicolored, grounding, balance, protection, healing. You have the Amber, orange, ancient energy, protection. You have the carnelian, orange, passion, creativity, motivation, energy. You have garnet, which is red, passion, commitment, protection, energy. You have the pearl, white, purity, innocence. And these are just a few examples. And this concludes this part of the review. In the next part, we are going to talk about archetypes and traits. These gemstone definitions, powers, colors, they feel a lot like one of those guides for the properties of crystals and metals when it comes to spirituality. But this is perfect for the fiction when it comes to the gem knights obtaining their powers and becoming associated with these telluric or earthly energies that could perhaps communicate many things about the gem knights past and personality. Thank you for watching this part of the review. And thank you for your likes and your comments. If you have any questions or comments, please let me know. And thank you so much to those of you that are going the extra mile to support the channel. If anyone else wishes to further support the channel, the information on how to do that will be in the description below. And remember, it is better to roleplay and fail in character than not to roleplay and fail as a player. Once again, thank you. And see you later.